Now, you're very welcome back because our next guests have been treading the boards for several decades. <coughs> well, starring in such hits as My Left Foot, huh? Far and Away and Ryan's Daughter. Currently touring with The Quiet Land, a uh, play about life in rural Ireland. The brilliant Des Kyo and Derry Power join us both. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. We were, uh, we were uh, having a chat at a very silly hour when you both arrived this morning. Yes. Mm. It's 17 years ago since we were together. It is indeed. It is on radio. I know. On radio, on, back in the yeah. day. Yeah, I was wondering how you knew each other. Yeah. Wow. My Ooh. first ever professional gig, radio play called Convenience Corner. It was, was a it daily day? radio soap. Yes. And Derry was there. Yes. He guided me through it. <laughs> oh, I'm sure he's, he's still doing that to me. <laughs> this is actually older than I am. He's a month, well, he's well, a month is older. A, one month. A month. A month. Yes. But he, he, yeah. he makes all the decisions. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the senior I, member, yeah. You've been so busy, so busy. I mean, you were in Wollongar last night. We were. were starring we yeah. in this fantastic new play. Sorry. Written by the brilliant Mal McKenna. Oh, yes. Mal is lovely. Yes. And he's written this beautiful play for us. It's a lovely know, piece. Yeah. It really is. And it's it started life as a radio play, is that right? So I believe, yes. It won a very big prize as yes. a radio play. Right. But then and he it... decided to adapt it for the stage and uh, Jerry and I were asked and we're delighted that we were asked to do it because it's working so well. Mm. And yeah. tell us a little bit about the piece itself then, Des. What's, what's the story of the Well, play? it's about these two old, uh, old, guy, old farmers living in isolation. They, li they each have their own house and uh, living up um, in some isolation on a rural hillside. And um, some difficulties uh, occur. And it has to do with the changing environment and with the changing circumstances in which they find themselves. A lot of it is quite sad and uh, serious. But then but again, a lot of it is very funny. Yeah. We have to emphasize mm. that. Yes, it's, it's really a, 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 a marvellous evening, a, a funny evening. So the two lads have been neighbours for all these years. Yes. Uh, Are they friends? Oh, oh yes, yes. Well, very definitely. They're, yeah. like ourselves, they're grumpy old men, really. Yeah, you know? yeah. You know, I but, love grumpy Yeah, but they still have a <laughs> sense of humour. <laughs> <laughs> say grumpy days. <laughs> it's a lot. That's quite taxing, mm. isn't it? Every night performing. Well, it's a short I mean. play. It's not really that taxing. It's physically not so taxing, but because it, it's only an hour long, and um, you know, it 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 goes by more or less in a flash. And next week we're on in Cork for three nights, which Very is um, which we're looking forward to. We've ah. both it, it, been it, there, been there quite a lot before. It, it, and Man yeah. is one of this mm. this breed of Irish writers. This almost a new breed of Irish writers. He's, he's a very talented fella, as well very as a nice talented. bloke. Yeah. Yeah. What does he bring to the table in terms of the piece? I mean, what, what did you connect? When you read the material first, what made you connect? Well, to uh, let's face it, we'd have no evening at all without, without Mal. Yeah. Uh, and he, he's contributed enormously to it. And it's a beautiful piece of writing. It, it really is. Uh, it, it's easy for us to play it because it's so well written. Ah, but it's the way it's doing. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> you make it look easy, see, that's the thing. It, one, of, one of the themes that the play discusses, as you said, Des, was the changes over the years. Yeah. And what I'd love to talk to you about is how, how the job of acting has changed. Because I read in w one of your research notes, I will mention the year, Derry, no, <coughs> as I look at Derry, the but the Pike Theatre, 1954. Yes, ah, yes. 1954. Well, we're, we're, both, we're both in our early 80s. No, uh, and not. I suppose it's a, it's a great achievement to be able to work, to be able to walk. <laughs> <laughs> but how has how the job changed, do you think, Des? How has the profession well, changed? Well, can I just say that yes. when I started, it, we were thieves and vagabonds, right. actors were, because there, there was no television and there was no respectability about that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> not that there's much but there was, <laughs> but it, but, And there was probably no stability to it. Oh, not at all. But that's still relevant oh, today. Well, of course it is. You know, that, that's is. the one thing that hasn't yeah. changed. Never yeah. change. That will never change, anyway. No, I don't think so. <laughs> well, there weren't um, so many of us in the business at all, uh, yeah. certainly when we started. But then there weren't the um, opportunities either. There was no television. There was no television, yeah. no, that's yeah. true. Yeah. But then if you became, um, you know, reasonably well known or established, uh, yeah. the parts would be, if you like, offered. To, uh, in this day and age, the audition system is very, uh, you know, very different. Pre prevalent. And um, in this country, it has come in great deal. I mean, for a film part, you know yourself, Simon. Yeah, yeah. Everybody has to go to yeah. uh, to read for something, yeah, and yeah. Uh, you're not uh, sort of taken uh, do, by your do, reputation, do, if you do, like. Do you, you audition an, an, anymore yeah. or not? Not or? anymore. Well, for film, you would. Or for <laughs> yeah. film, you would. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But not for theatre. But really is it a kind of a case, Des, where your body of work doesn't count for anything? 
Uh, it doesn't really, because there are so many sort of young directors. I wouldn't know. Yes, they, yeah, that, they wouldn't know. <laughs> <laughs> but listen, <laughs> they, wouldn't they should. Know. Yeah. But when you look at the cache of work that you've done, I mean, we've got Ryan's Daughters, Ulysses, Flight of the Doves, um, the importance of being earnest. I mean, the list is endless. What, what's been your favourite work to date? Well, both of you, I, I, said, that goes to both. I, I said the answer to that is the present one yeah. and the one that pays the most money. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> That's the right answer, absolutely. <laughs> but no, I mean, you've just got so much. I mean, you can't, I mean, there's literally five pages of all the stuff that you've done. It is, it is a staggering begin? career. I was very fortunate to have careers. a show recently uh, talking about favourite, which I've been doing for about the last 12, 13 years which I adapted from John B. Keane. And yeah. uh, this was one I've done all over the world, really, uh, America, Australia, yeah. and all over Ireland. It's called The Love Hungry Farmer. But I've been very fortunate to have that. And that is a one-man show that you can, if you like, fall back on if uh, well, the you offers can, aren't well, coming Well, you can in. take it out and dust it off. Yeah, uh, which is pension. Yeah, exactly. in, ter in terms of theatre, um, which is, you know, they, they say an actor's home is a theatre, you know, a director's home is film or television. Mm -hmm. I mean... The changes in theatre over the years, like repertory companies, don't pretty much don't exist anymore. No, but no. that's a real shame, factors in terms of a, a repertory company. If you got into one of those, mm -hmm. that was some form of regular employment for yeah. six nine months. Yes, that's, but when that's I sad. when I when I started, you could tour with uh, a, a company for, as you say, six or nine yeah. months, uh, and there was quite a, a few of them around the country. Yeah. So uh, you, you were guaranteed employment. But that's for, the th the day the fit-ups and turn oh, go around but is. that's gone yes. now because there's more options in terms of entertainment because yes. oh, yes. of I telly mean, and that. I mean the fit-ups if we're going to talk about those my please God, do oh, my <laughs> because you know some stories there <laughs> I tell you Debbie <laughs> <laughs> what, about, what about your film work because I know that that's something that I would love to touch mm. on because I mean Flight of the Doves I mean I loved all those movies Flight of the Doves is a great movie yeah I had a small part George, uh, in that in any films I have been in they have been small parts <laughs> but one that I enjoyed most recently, actually, was Sing Street because I had a, great a very, a very small role in this, which seemed to, you know, had, which was noticed. Yeah, and, I was nominated uh, across the globe. I know, uh, I was going to be involved uh, in, in in something Hollywood, like that. Yeah. But it's lovely. I'd love to have done more film uh, because, but uh, I, it's been mostly theatre as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, yeah me but, too. Um, and from now on, you know, if parts come up. That's great, you know, but if they don't, well... As so I say, be it. There's yeah, always a one-man show to dust off. <laughs> <There. there. laughs> exactly. it, so in terms of the play, The Quiet Land, where are we off to next? Because yes. you're going around the country. We're in Cork next week. Very good. And we're in Dundrum the following week. After that, we're at my local in the mill in Dundrum. Oh, that's my local too. Is that yeah, yeah, it's yeah, great. Yeah, so we're there. Yeah, well, you must come along and see it. I will, yeah. I will. I, I studied mm -hmm. drama and theatre studies in Trinity, so I'm, I'm ah. actually enthralled to hear all that you're saying, because the love of theatre never well, leaves you, does it, ever? Let me tell you, don't miss the opportunity to go and see these two fellas. Okay. Yeah. They do best. I'm...